G'day Ranker, welcome back. Final show for the year. And I thought we'd just look back over the last three years quickly uh, to see what we were doing three years ago compared to what we were doing now. We didn't have any of these large language models. We didn't have any of these chatbots, nothing. Uh, there are a few sites out there that would give you uh, content generated by AI, and it was pretty ordinary, to be honest. So now everyone can do that, right? Everyone can create content. So all those content businesses are kind of just gone. There's some niche ones still out there. Uh, and now fast forward to 2025, end of 2025, and we see what Shopify just released last week. Go and have a look at their website. The link is in the description. But Shopify, apart from their amazing 150 different items in their uh, winter release for 2026, they're quite extraordinary and very, very useful to shop owners. So whereas now everyone can do content, now you can do product descriptions, uh, blog content, all within Shopify itself using their Sidekick app. And there is a raft of other things that you can do now. But the Sidekick app, I think, is going to get a lot more traction in 2026. And the site that, they've, that Shopify have built to for this release is a work of art. It's just brilliant. I mean, have a look at this. It is just so gorgeous. And you can see all the things that you can now do within Shopify itself. Like all of these tools, though, they're only as good as the person wielding them. As I said three years ago, we made a prediction, we looked forward and we said, well, what's, what's going to matter to AI in this new world of search, we'll call it? It's more research now, though, because whereas before people might click on a link on your blog post as part of their research, they're now doing all of that inside of either Gemini, AI mode, ChatGPT, uh, AI overviews people are still using. I think what's going to happen with Google, though, we're going to see that blending of AI mode and normal search. So we get that navigation search straight into the chatbot as well. And we get that clear delineation. Because, as I said many, many times, the main search that happens in Google is brand related. So it's people looking for a specific product they've already decided they want, or it is... Uh, you know, an actual brand like JB Hi-Fi, whatever it is. At the moment in the chatbots, brand search doesn't work too well. And what Google search does really well is that navigation type search. That's going to be blended all into the one unit, essentially. And I think they'll do away with AI mode and it'll just be called Google. That's my prediction for Google. And I also think they will bring out um, checkout within the chat experience, in the chatbot experience, within the search experience. So what I said three years ago was structured data and brand were, were the key focuses for me and owning the customer. And I think that's really important still. So structured data is important with everything, as we know, as we've said with Google. When you look at what uh, Shopify has rolled out, it's more important than ever. And it's more important in ways which it wasn't important for Google. So when you look at a lot of these changes that have happened over the last three years, there's a lot that we can now do. Like I built a Shopify app on the weekend, which I'm now testing. And it's basically a, an AI search bot uh, monitoring tool. So I can see what happens to the bots when they hit your site after a user query. Now, I haven't taken anyone's job by creating that app. Uh, I'm not going to be necessarily commissioning a developer to create that app. It just wouldn't have been on my radar. But because I can do it myself now, I'm going to do it. And the same applied to typing in the late 90s, mid 90s. All of a sudden, er everyone can type a document. Everyone can type an email. Well, everyone can type an email now, a really good email, because they get it written by AI. Some of them are pretty rubbish. But once again, it depends who's wielding that hammer. And I think we're just going to see this democratization of skills. But you do run the risk as a business owner of a couple of things. Paralysis from analysis. There's so much data to look at and so many reports that you can now generate. What's real? And that's when your agencies uh, should shine. It's that consultative layer uh, above all this. So, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of uh, research and digging and all those sorts of things in the existing Google tools, like most agencies are. So Google Analytics, Google Search Console. But now we've got these tools inside Shopify that we can now then bring this data in and get 
a bigger picture, a more complete picture of what's actually going on. I can't actually get this information out of Sidekick that I can get out of Google Analytics, but I can't get the information out of Shopify that I can get out of Google Analytics, if that makes sense. But we can now bring the two together. And so it's those sorts of things that get me excited about the potential of, of what's happening. And as I've shown, you know, we've got a few clients now doing reasonable sales through ChatGPT. We can't see the data that's coming from, say, Gemini or AI mode or AI view, AI overviews, because Google doesn't tell us that. But I think we will eventually get to see that broken out. But what's important is understanding what buttons to press, basically, what questions to ask. And they're the conversations that I'm excited of having because all of a sudden, the time to value for us has greatly reduced. We can get that information like that. And we know which questions to ask. And we know whether, should you do a blog post? Shopify Psychic isn't going to be able to tell you exactly what your blog post should be about, especially if you're trying to uh, get richer content inside of these AI chatbots and get that surfaced. It's not going to be able to tell you that. It will write it for you. It will maybe suggest that this, these products probably need content, but it won't tell you exactly what that content should be. So go and use Sidekick because Shopify have done an extraordinary job. They really have. It's really amazing. And for 2026, just use all the tools. Like I haven't used ChatGPT for a week now because I've been using Gemini and I've been, for coding, <laughs> I've been using Anthropic's Claude 4.5. Now, I keep going to try to cancel Anthropic subscription. And now I'm thinking about canceling my GPT subscription because my ChatGPT subscription because they've just released a new model, 5.2, but you know, uh, image generation is good, but Nano Banana is great. I'm already paying for it. And the coding stuff, I'm doing all through Claude 4.5 or Google's anti-gravity or another tool now. So it's important to absolutely use the tools. I won't use Claude 4.5 though for writing or um, any sort of content creation. I find Gemini is better for that. But I wouldn't know that unless I was actually playing with the tools. And the same applies to Sidekick and all these other things is use the tools in 2026. Because the one thing we can be sure of is that there will be more change. <laughs> Definitely more change. And it's still incredibly exciting about what's coming down the pipe. I'm still not a, a, an advocate of this is gonna take all our jobs. It's probably going to uh, change your job if you're good at it. It's going to change what you, what you do because all of a sudden now you've got these assistants that just keep getting better and better. So what do you do? You ask more and more questions. You ask better informed questions and you get better output, but it's not gonna happen unless you're using the tools. Hopefully that's helpful. Have a fantastic Christmas and a tremendous new year. And I hope your 2026 is just awesome. And thank you everyone for subscribing this year. We've had a great year for subscriptions and comments and views. And I really, really appreciate that. And thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please do more of it. And please tell your friends. And we will see you in 2026. Merry Christmas.